Hello again, YouTube. Uh, we just got done with Colossus, and Colossus is kind of the only world we're actually going to 100% complete for a little bit. Um, so, yeah. I Also notice the details they put into the guidebook here. You got Colossus, uh, the, just the text there. Um, I, that's what I love growing up, is the difference in text. So, yeah, the different fonts. So, anyway. We're going to uh, actually pay money bags to uh, swim now. A new ability. Hello there, Spyro. Would you like to learn to swim underwater? I suppose I could teach you for uh, a small fee. A small fee? 500 gems is a small fee? Actually, in this game, it is. <laughs> so I hope you've been collecting your gems. So, let's go. Great. Okay, when you jump in the water, you can use the D-pad to move around the surface. Use square to dive underwater. When you are underwater, use X to paddle and square to charge. Yep. Be sure to practice. There's some underwater levels coming up, too. Um, yeah, let's just stop that counter. We have 308 gems. Um, so, so now that we know how to swim, let's actually go back to the Glimmer portal. Oh, I forgot to turn the sound back up. Sorry about that. Hopefully that's, uh, better. Then again, I- oh. Check your guide. Yes, 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 we know, Alora. Um, hopefully the volume's okay again. But yeah, see the pond here we saw last time, just a square. There we are, we're underwater now. So yeah, I like to charge. It's easier. For me, at least. Woohoo! And this is how we get to a little secret ca uh, secret cave here. Up the steps. And there's an orb! Right above the Colossus portal. That's orb number seven. I just like to do this, I just like to... Get, go on top of the portal. Oh, nope. Well, at least I managed to get on top of the portal. So, but anyway, we're going to uh, uh, enter Idle Springs now. Now, I, I, I actually kind of lied. Um, we now that we have swimming, we will be, I, um, we will be able to um, 100% this level. So, yeah, kind of forgot about that. Sorry. <laughs> it's after this level we won't. I keep mistaken. Okay, maybe I'm thinking of the next game. I'm sorry. Oh! Oh my! Yeah, Bill's just joining our dog has a little cough. Age is catching up to her, I'm sorry to say. Alright, here we are in the Idle Springs. Um, this is a rather large level, as you can see by the minimap, but let's see, uh... Spyro, to say. the idols we were carving have come to life! They've locked us out of our temples and stolen our food! Oh my, not the food! The workers can break the locks if they can get to the doors. Yep. Um... Yeah, you can see the, uh, poor, uh, workers there. Yeah, we're gonna leave him be for a while. Hey, there's a strong chest up there, but we won't be able to get to it for a while. But for now, let's explore the uh, water here. Oop, completely missed that. Yeah, the underwater mechanics can be a little touchy. Check. Good. So let's go into this tunnel here. And this is uh, where uh, one of the two orbs will be. 400 gems and 11 enemies. Did I miss one? Okay, I thought I missed one. Ooh, this challenge. I've been locked in here with all our tools, and the giant idol heads won't let the workers in unless we can solve the three puzzles they've given us. Why, I wonder. Oh well. 
The first puzzle is to turn all these blocks yellow. If you have trouble, come back and talk to me. Yeah. Three star difficulty. Now this may look intimidating at first, but there's a little uh, hint. A little way to... I wouldn't say cheese it, but an easy solution. There is the term I look for. Step on all four corners. There we are. Wow, Spyro, you did it! I mean, I knew you could do it. Now, meet me at the pond for the next challenge. All right. Yeah, I remember struggling with this, and then finally I read online that, oh, you can just go on all four corners. Okay. Yeah, that kind of negates the whole challenge of it, but... Oh, well. oh, you probably saw that. There's the rocket for the uh, strong chest. Yeah. I can't get up there yet. And grab all the gems first, and... Uh... Yeah. This idol says he's hungry and won't be satisfied until he swallowed ten fish. He's got a sensitive stomach, so watch what kind of fish you feed him. Mm-hmm. Just like me. Um, so the trick here is um, he cannot eat red fish. That's it. Just flame the fish in. Size doesn't matter either, just as long as it's not red. Blue or yellow only. <laughs> yeah, this part can be a little tedious with all the waiting. So many reds, they really try and throw you off here. Here we are. <laughs> Big O. I almost got that one. And one more. If you feed him a red fish, he'll kind of throw up three fish, including the uh, red one. So you have so it sets you back a couple numbers. There we are. Okay, Spyro, just one more puzzle to go. I'll meet you over by the colored stones for your final challenge. All right. Well, I don't see any colored stones around here. Well, actually, it's at the end of the level. So we can actually start the level now. Um, yeah, in order to progress, we have to uh, uh, rescue the workers here. Here we are. Oh, look at this. The metal shields are back. Um, Zoe will explain it later, but yeah. Same thing as Spyro 1. You can't play metal. Another uh, small idol over here. And there we go. Pretty simple. Hi, Zoe. Those metal shields are making enemies invulnerable to your flame attack. If you press and hold the square button, you can defeat them with your charge attack. Yep. There's our next big area. This level is relatively simple, really. Eleven lives. Gems. I'm not missing anything. Alright. Marshmallow should not be a weapon, sir. To aim the camera left or right. Yeah, we already know that one. The shoulder buttons uh, do the camera. Now, actually, uh, what they took out um, in this game is a roll. 
So both shoulder buttons um, are for the camera, except for holding them all down at once. And then if you hold, uh, instead of all four, just one on each side, like R1 and L1, they'll snap the camera right behind Spyro, basically. So. There's our last enemy up there, but well, let's uh, let that worker suffer a little longer. If you jump on these stones in the correct order, you will solve the puzzle. I only know what the first one is. It's up to you to figure the rest out. Yep. Oops. If you jump. Yes. He sounds annoyed. Okay. So this one's actually relatively simple too. So we want star. If uh, not that one. Was it blue? Yep. Triangle. Uh, let's see. Oh my gosh, I'm having a brain fart. I should know this. If you star, star, circle. If you wait a second, I thought. That's if weird. I thought it was only one play. Okay, start the master shapes. And color. Okay. That's strange how it accepts uh that. Maybe there's more than one way to do it. I don't know, but nice job spot. Oops. Sorry, I skimmed over that, but here's the orb. Sorry about that, I had a massive brain fart there. Oh well. So yeah, that uh, challenge is relatively easy. Unfortunately, you get teleported all the way back here. So. Yeah. So let's just run all the way back. Last enemy in the area. Well, maybe not exactly. You'll see what I mean in a minute here. But first, let's go up here and uh, all these gems. And this area will actually lead you out to the waterfall in the one area. Yeah. So no need to go this way though. That, that area there is just for aesthetic, really. This waterfall. Hmm. Alright, so there's the end of the level. I'm gonna skim over that right now. I'm gonna fall down. <laughs> Okay, come on now. 13 minutes? Really? Hmm. There we are. We have another little area over here. And this is the second and final uh, orb here. Now, I hope you like the supercharge. Because, uh, yeah, we need eight enemies defeated in order to um, activate that. But let's see what's going on here. Oh, hi. <laughs> yeah, we can't flame them or charge them, so, uh, oh, hi there. It's fabulous to see you, Spyro. Now that the supercharge power-up is active, you can charge through the pedestals and send the dancing hula girls over here to help me. <laughs> so this is the challenge. Um, we have to get all, I think, six, yeah, six, um, hula girls over here. Yeah, if you don't, he'll just kind of throw them back to their pedestals, so you have to get all six of them here. Ah, I missed it. And missed it again. Yeah. You have to do it perfectly. Son of a... Almost. Almost. 
Yeah, this game supercharge is still a little finicky. Here we are. Look at that. The hula girl's rain dance blew up that idol like a Roman candle. Now I can pursue that dancing career I've dreamed of. Take this orb. It could help you go places. All right. And there we are. There's all the orbs. So let's go back around and collect the, tre uh, the gems. Treasure, gems, whatever. And there's another skill point in this particular level. Um, that we can get here. It's actually relatively simple. What we have to do is go all the way up here. I mean, does the guidebook actually keep track of the skill points I wonder? Oh, I thought it did. Strange. Okay. Well, never mind. Um, so what we gotta do? Go up here. And this is the path we gotta take in order to open the strong chest, by the way. here. Okay. Now you see that idol right there? What you gotta do is land on top of it. So X, X. Make sure you use the hover. There we are. There's your skill point. Relatively simple. No, actually it is simple. Not relatively. Go back around. This time we're gonna take a U-turn. Go this way. And we're gonna grab the rest of the gems. Oh, break open the baskets, that'd be great. And there's that rocket we saw earlier. Flame it. Now, in this version, you can land on top of that idol, but you don't get anything out of it. You gotta watch out. Some of the gems will actually fall into the water here, so... Yeah. There we are. 400, 400 gems. Now, we gotta make our way around again, but one more time. Uh, now to collect the talisman. Oop. Checkpoint, so you don't have to do anything all over again. So we're talking 15 minutes. Okay. Spyro, you're pretty tough. If you ever want a permanent job, we've got a place for you here. But a moment, I want you to have this talisman. All right. Ah, that's not gold. <laughs> Love that. Let's get out of here. And that is it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think they're in trouble. Run! Yeah! Oh, he's friendly. <laughs> See, I guess they just turn inexplicably. Inexplicab they suddenly turn nice. And let's see. Yeah, a rather another rather short episode, but uh, um, I think that'll be it uh, for the recording here. So YouTube, uh, like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time. Yeah, <laughs> even Spark says goodbye. <laughs>